First step in any question is always going to be to read the question. A 747 airliner reaches its takeoff speed of 173 miles per hour in 35.2 seconds. What is the magnitude of its acceleration? So right now what I'm doing is I'm deciding is this a constant velocity problem where you use V equals D over T and have only a single V? Or is this an acceleration problem where the velocity would change throughout and so the velocity would be either VI, velocity initial, or VF, final velocity. And this is an acceleration problem. This right here is the easiest way to, to see it, but it is the speed is going to, the plane is going to be speeding up to this 173 miles per hour. So write down your givens. I see this given right here, that's going to be my VF because it's going to get to that speed. So 173 miles per hour and it's going to take 35.2 seconds to get there. It's asking you for acceleration. Remember you need this unknown in order to pick your right equation. And I can assume that we're starting from zero since it's going to get to that takeoff speed. And really I can ignore the, the units here because it is a zero. Um, I'm going to do a little conversion here. When I look at hours and I look at seconds, these things don't work out. Um, and when I'm deciding what I'm going to convert into, I always go towards SI if that's, if that's an option. Here we're going to take 173 miles per hour, and we're going to go ahead and convert that. So we're fine with miles. That doesn't conflict with anything else you see here. But we need to get these hours out of there. So we're going to put hours up top, and we're going to get that to seconds. One hour is 3,600 seconds. Think about 60 minutes, 60 seconds. Multiply those two together, you get 3,600. That's just a direct conversion from one to the other. Cross out hours. We now have miles per second. And take your calculator. We're going to go ahead and type in uh, 173 divided by 3,600. And we're going to get, this ends up being 0 0.04 eight and change this is going to be miles per second so right here we have our new time it's not going to conflict i'll go ahead and rewrite that right there the new time is going to be zero well not sorry not new time that's going to be the new velocity so this is going to be instead of 173 miles per hour it's going to be 0 0.048 miles per second so now we have seconds that don't conflict with each other and we're trying to determine which equation to go by. And so the, the way I determine an equation to go by, I think of, I'm going to need two things. What am I solving for? This is going to be the most important because if I don't have it in that equation, I'm not going to be able to solve for anything. Also, if you think about the equations that you normally see right here, there are five variables. And the one I'm not even concerned with is D. So this is going to help me pick which equation I'm going to go by. Step one, if I don't have, if I don't have acceleration, I'm not going to be able to solve for what I'm trying to find. So make sure that the equation has acceleration. This one does have acceleration, this one has acceleration, this one has acceleration, this one does not have acceleration. So as of now, there's three possible choices. But the next step is to find out, okay, I, I don't have a D, I'm not concerned with D, D's never going into this equation. So the next step is to cut out any sort of equation in here that might have a D. So this is a process of elimination. The first one doesn't have a D, so I can still use it. Second one has a D, can't use it. Third one has a D, can't use it. If I had five variables in my givens list, I might be able to use more than one of these and come up with the right answer. So I decide I'm going to use the VF equals VI plus AT. I'm going to write that equation down, VF equals VI plus AT. And at this point in time, I'm going to have to rearrange it for A. So I will go ahead and rearrange it for A. VI is over here, it's added, so I'm going to subtract it from both sides. And that ends up being VF minus VI equals AT. Now I want to get, and I need to go ahead and get rid of the T. Since T is over here, it's multiplied. I can divide both sides by T. When I cross that out, I'm going to get A equals, I'm going to move this up a little bit, A equals VF minus VI over T. And I'm ready to plug in my variables. So I have my variables over here. A equals VF. We're going to use the 0 0.048, not the 173. Minus initials velocity of 0 over 
and the time here is going to be 35.2 seconds. And we're ready to solve. I'll take your calculator and we have 0 0.048 and minus 0, so you can leave that out, divided by 35.2 equals, and we get 0 0.00136. So, 0 0.00136. And so the acceleration here will be 0 0.00136. And we have to look at our units going in to the problem. We had miles, sorry, sorry, miles per second. And that's going to be over seconds. So this answer is going to be miles per second squared. So we keep our distance that went into that, we keep our time, which is time, it's distance per time over time, which ends up being this right here, this answer. If the question asked me to, to convert to something else, then, this, then I might be able to go ahead and I might turn this into meters per second. Usually that would be where they want you to go with a problem like this.